I'm getting ready to do the zodiac sign wheel. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to or someone that you've detached from. This could be someone who wants to come toward you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, and your future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So let's see what do we have for Leo. So we have a toxic relationship, roll the dice, and then you have finances. So somebody could be leaving behind a toxic relationship. This is someone who was definitely trying to make something work. They could be realizing that Another person is just too codependent to them. Or they just have codependency issues. There's a lot of fighting, arguing. Um, and it's, it's... The relationship is making that person have a lot of money problems. Whoever they were in a relationship with that they're walking away from, that person, they only focus on material things. Like, they don't focus on the important things in life. The things that they should be um, This is someone who does not like to focus on responsibilities. Like, whatever it is that they feel like is a responsibility, they put it on one person. And if they've walked away from that person, they're having a lot of money problems because this person is someone that's not accustomed to like being by their self, fending for their self. They're just accustomed to having these material things or getting these material things and just living life without a care. So it's like they're being forced to face reality. They never thought that this person would walk away. If this is you, whoever the person is that you've walked away from, they didn't think that you would walk away. Um, they didn't see this coming. They thought something would work or something like that. We have social media. And you have text message. So they could be trying to like reach out to you through social media. Or if this is someone else, they're trying to reach out to another person on social media. It's like they're trying to get that person to call them, communicate with them. They could be, you know, making it seem as if they got some good news. Or they could be trying to get this person's attention with bad news. They're just trying to get that person to communicate with them. They could also be spying to see if that person is dating anyone else. Yeah, but they see that that person is focusing on change. And this has left them like at a stalemate. Because these messages, this communication, this was supposed to get that person to like hook up with them. They could have been trying to get that person to sleep with them again. Because they didn't want something to be over with unfinished business being here. It's like they wanted that person to like be in this, this pattern or um, a back and forth energy with them. But somebody is focusing on new love. It's like one person has moved on. Another person is kind of like in the background spying, um, looking up that person's social media to see what they have going on. They could have definitely thought by now that that person would come back towards them. It's like somebody had been waiting for another person to reach out to them. And if they've been trying to reach out to that person, they're being left like on red. I'm 
and they don't know what to do. If this happened before with this person and um, this toxic partner like broke up, they expected for each other to, you know, reconcile, get back together. We have the three of cups. Yeah, they were expecting a reconciliation. Yeah, somebody was definitely expecting to like sleep with another person. If they could get that person back in bed, they could get that person to feel like, hey, it's not over. I need to be attached to that person. I need that person. Yeah, somebody have been trying to reach out to another person for sex with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, but somebody has moved on. It's like if they were able to, they felt like this person was easy to be tempted in the past, seduced. Somebody has gained their control, their self-control, and they've moved forward. So they cannot use sex as a weapon to manipulate that person, trick that person, get that person to come back towards them. Have that person at a stalemate. Yeah, somebody have gained a lot of inner strength. And they're focused on a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. Yeah. This is an ending that they did not see. They could feel backstabbed. They could feel betrayed. Because whatever they were doing in the past to get that person to come back towards them, it's not working anymore. Somebody is focused on living their life single. Somebody is definitely practicing celibacy. So this is someone who could be saving their self for commitment. Yeah, and they're watching someone. They're watching the person that they want to go towards, just new love energy. Yeah, you have the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. This toxic partner was secretly competing with this Two of Cups. Like the person that they're watching, they were secretly competing with that person. But it's like they sabotaged their self. They didn't know that that person was already um, walking away from this connection. Yeah, and they feel like that. They feel defeated with the six of wands being here. They feel like that person came out on top. Now, if this is you and somebody was secretly competing with you because another person is interested in you, um, they're watching you. They feel like you won the secret competition. You've came out on top. They also, they also feel like you've helped this person to transition. This person has been watching you do a lot of work on yourself. With the death card being here, you could have definitely ended out a cycle. You've started a new beginning. Yeah, whoever this person is, this is someone who have definitely been like in hermit mode. This person did something to make this person, this could be somebody that ghosted you. They wanted you to feel left out in the cold. So they did something to get this person to ghost you and they could have ghosted you. But it's like whatever happened in the past, it backfired because that person kind of like isolated their self from them. There was some type of uh, rumor with the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, because they thought that they were coming towards you with the Ace of Wands. They felt like, hey, this person is desiring and... um 
desire in this two of cups. They're interested in this, in this two of cups. Let me try to bad mouth this person, spread some type of rumors, lies that are not true about this person before they try to take action. Now, if they ghosted you, this is someone who was definitely doing a lot of research and they could have been stalking you, watching you, looking up stuff. And all they seen was you making some type of change. They see how strong you are, how focused you are. And this has helped them to want to have a new beginning. Yeah, it's like somebody somebody thought that they were one up in you because they knew this person was interested in you, watching you, um, had a desire to connect with you. And they didn't know that these lies would make that person like do their own research. And it's like now they're interested in you more than, than they were before. This is someone that's in love with you. Yeah, but somebody thought they got away with something. And now it's like they're in this nine of wands. This person is stuck in guilt. They didn't know they were testing this person. This was a test to help them to end out a cycle with this toxic partner. Whatever they said about you, they thought that that person would just believe it and go about their business. But somebody started doing their research. Yeah, this is someone who was in love with you and they've been fantasizing about you. They feel like you're someone that's very honest. You speak the truth. You express the truth without shame. They will never compare to you. So if this is someone who was secretly trying to compete with you and they thought they one up you, this is someone who did not know that whatever they said, whatever they tried to do, it would not change that person's perspective about you. However you make this person feel, um, nobody compares to that. Nobody have ever made them feel that way. This is someone who have been working hard on their self. And they're just not the same as they were before. So they're not easy to be tempted. Um, they're not easy to be manipulated. Yeah, it's like whoever this person is, they know they messed up. When they first did what they did, they thought, hey, I'm going to get away with this because this is someone who is very sneaky. They're accustomed to getting away with stuff. They're accustomed to, accustomed to deceiving people, lying, tricking people, stealing from people. Yeah, and it's like whoever the person is that they lied to, this is someone that refuses to let you go. They feel like they can't let you go. And they're definitely wanting to connect with you with I'm on my way. The distance between us kills me. Yeah, they've been hoping to bump into you somewhere. They feel like they could feel like they sabotaged this connection because something was just too intense. It's like they ghosted you because they didn't know what to believe. It's like they had to do their research. They had to find out the truth, seek the truth with the hermit card being here. But after they found out the truth, they felt like they sabotaged the connection because... They weren't able to discern that this person was lying to them. Even if they had been attached to them for a long time, they just were not able to discern that this was a lie about you. I want to reach out, but I don't know how to. 
I want to make you happy. I, I miss your smile. Yeah, whoever this person is, this toxic partner, once they separated from this person, they thought this person would like lust after them, chase after them, but that didn't work. They could have even separated themselves from that person or it could have been a situation like this. Um, they had an argument, a fight with that person. And this could have been about money. Because finances is here. And it's like they could have told that person like, hey, I don't want to be with you anymore. There could have been some words back and forth. Um, but this other person felt like, okay, we've been here before. That person always says stuff like this. This person is going to contact me. They're going to come after me. But they didn't. And now it's like they're in this nine of wands energy. This is someone who deals with some type of abandonment issues. This person acts as if, you know, they could do without that person. They could even talk bad about that person. They want that person to feel insecure. They want that person to feel low because they want to keep that person where they had that person or where they had that person in the past, like a pattern back and forth, um, being accustomed to this toxic relationship. They wanted that person to feel like, hey, I can't live without you. I have to hold on to you. But somebody, they, they definitely felt like this lie would be a golden ticket for them to hold on to this person. Yeah, it's like that person decided to go through a transformation that they did not see after they went hermit. Yeah, and as I say, they've watched you make changes in your life. This is definitely someone new, someone that's not from the past, someone that um, could have been secretly admiring you for a long time. There could have been some messages or flirting back and forth through social media. This is definitely someone that you know. We have reconnect and reconciliation. This is someone who have been hiding the way that they feel about you. Yeah, and it's like once they ghosted you, they found out the truth. They decided to take out the time to just focus on their self right now. Because they felt like this is the energy that you're in. They stood by and watched. So somebody created some type of confusion, deception, lies, trickery. And they thought they would stand by and watch. But this person did not know they were standing by waiting for their karma. They're going through bad karma. Yeah, because they cannot stand the fact that that person is focusing on their self. They're also focusing on self-love, loving their self. And these are all of the things that this person seen you focusing on. You could have um, made some type of life change. You could have walked away from a certain person, certain people. You just walked away from things that don't serve purpose in your life. A karmic feminine. So this was definitely a karmic feminine energy. This person is sitting back watching, but stressed out. They're stressing because they felt like manipulation and trickery would, you know, keep that person stuck. Get that person to come back toward them. And even if they didn't lie, they could have had a third party lie. Like there could have been multiple interferences. Yeah, everything was supposed to backfire. Whatever they said about you, not only the truth came out, but this person got exposed for something that they did. Not only what they did to you. It's like something came out about them that they never thought would come onto surface. This could be something that they did in the past to that person. And that was the last thing in their mind that they thought would come out.
And whoever this ex is, this person is obsessed. They can't let go of the past. They can't accept the fact that this person has moved on with their life. Because they just knew this manipulation, this trickery was going to work. It works every time. But they didn't know that was the last time. Yeah, let the past go. This is someone who does not know how to let the past go after this person have let the past go. You're so smart. So whoever this person is, your intellect turns them on. They really enjoy conversing with you, talking to you. You've helped this person to want to find their self. This energy is like after they ghosted you and went in solitude, went in hermit mode, they needed that space. They needed that time um, to figure out what they wanted out of life. Everything that happened hurt this person a lot. As I say, after they found out the truth, they were in despair. They felt like they sabotaged the connection and they just needed time to heal. Yeah, this left them feeling lost. They could have just stopped talking to certain people. Um, they definitely slowed down on social media or just communicating and talking to people. This is someone who just kept their self isolated. They just wanted to be alone. Yeah, whoever this toxic partner is, this person got blocked. And they feel like they were blocked because this person wants you. Yeah, they feel like you won this secret competition. And this is a, comp a competition that you didn't know anything about.